pros in the know start with Lowe's because Lowe's has exclusive offers this week just for pro customers. For two days only, ask for 5% off all purchases made in store. And when you use your Lowe's business credit account, save an additional 5%. That's 5% off all purchases and an extra 5% if you use your Lowe's business credit account. See the Pro Desk in store for more details. So, pro, now that you know, start with Lowe's. Offer valid 8132, subject to credit approval and can't be combined with other credit offers. Exclusions apply. See store for details. Excludes Lowe's Visa Rewards cardholders, U.S. only. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Good Deeds Radio. I am your host. I am Dr. Renee Sun. I am the platform builder. I know you have awesome, a fabulous, a wonderful day, afternoon, depending on where you are. First of all, we want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being our supporters. Thank you for being, you know, advertised with us. You tune in. If you're not here live, you go back and you download from iTunes. You actually check us out on YouTube or our website or any of the social media works. And we want to thank you, thank you, thank you. We're staying high in the ratings. We're still number, we're number 50. I think we're just going to claim that that's going to be our spot. <laughs> To, you know, it's so many podcasts in the world, but in the United States, it's just a privilege, you know, they said even to be in the top 200, but we're glad that we're actually still here, and, woo! and I just appreciate, that. we thank you for believing in us, you know, believe in you guys, we believe in the things that you have been going to, the things that actually take the pain away from somebody else, that's what <laughs> that's what it's all about. And that's what we get good deeds with all the different platforms that we have from the radio, you know, slash podcast, right? Uh, and then we have the television and we have the publishing company and the good deeds magazine. Just all the things we do. We want to shine your light to the world. And that light is your goals, your dreams, your passions, and of course, your purpose and destiny in life. Mm, it makes you want to just say, Look, 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 we, we're here to help each other, right? That's what it's supposed to be, but make sure we continue that. But we don't want to delay. Let me get the question. Ah, the question for Dr. A for this session. You know I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I know now. I just, okay. The question is, I'm going to paraphrase because it's kind of lengthy, right? Mm. The question for Dr. Renee is, Dr. Son. Oh, okay. I paraphrase. The question is, Dr. Slade, we actually was at <laughs> uh, the uh, event that I spoke at, okay, and um, it was uh, a panel. So I know exactly what he's talking about. It was a, a women's expo here in the Atlanta area, and I was part of the panel. And they asked, okay, the, the, oh, okay, the question that they're asking is, Dr. Sunday, you talked about uh, growing up in poverty. You talked about some things that resonated with me because it sounds like you were talking about me. But it sound, seems like I'm having problems going forward in regards to things that I have been called to. Oh, that's a good question. Good question. But you know, we will call you and give you the full answer uh, to the person that actually uh, put the question in. Yes, I'm really, really uh, yes, I did grow up in poverty. I did bully, and I did go through the, you know, you got to forgive people, amen. You got the, you know, the church hurt, the, 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 the world hurt, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then also, you know, being an overachiever, you know, all that. That's <laughs> That's what you got. You got to go through it. You know, I can laugh about it now, of course, right? Because I've gone through it. But the main thing in life has always been, you know, my faith. Oh, Lord. You can talk about that, right? Yeah, but my faith, but the five F's I talk about, uh, first faith, family, and then, you know, the things that God has, has blessed me to do for other people. And, you know, um, the other thing, it's my fitness. You know, that's going to come up. You know, that's not in the order that I'm saying these things. But, uh, of course, faith is number one, though. <laughs> and family is number two. And then probably in there, the, the fitness and the uh, fortune to kind of run and neck and neck. But the last one is fun. you got to have fun. Um, you have to be honest with yourself and things. You know, the war room made so much money. But, uh, uh, you know, the impact actually 
let people know prayer is very important. You have to get in to, like Michael Jackson said, look at the man in the right? So you always have to evaluate yourself of things that you need to work on, things that you need to do better. And then you have to have a mentor or coach because all of us, I'm saying all, have a blind spot. Things that you have ingrained in you, if you will, that think it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's, I had to go through the process. Um, nobody jumps in front of the line, if you will, in the process, and everybody's process is different. Uh, and that F that I was telling you about, I had to, you know, that's what really I had to go through those things in my family and, and of course, my faith um, helped me through that process. I mean, it's, it's no way I tell people, it, you know, uh, and, and with my faith, seek God, seek God first, and then, of course, it's okay to have wise counsel. So it's okay to have mentor. It's okay to have a coach. It's okay to have a psychologist and or a psychiatrist. Right, yes. And me being in the medical field, I see it all the time. Uh, mental now is all over social media, but it's not new, you know. It's not new. All of us have challenges, things that we have to go through, it, uh, it, you know, from the pain to the purpose. The people use that as a slogan, but it's actually true. Uh, we're here to support you in the things that we do. If you actually need someone to talk to, we're here. We're here. We're here. And and if you do need some, you know, extra things, and that's okay. We actually, I know a lot of people, if not, we're going to do our due diligence to guess what? Google, amen. And we're going to get the help that you need. You know, that's in your business. That's in your personal life. And you just don't, people not listening, you want to express yourself. You know, we all here to help each other, right? So you actually need to appreciate each other. It's an exercise that I do with my team is um, and my family. That we text one another at least once a day to say, we love you, thank you, that, that. Got to do it because people want to be, everybody wants to, what? Everybody wants love, and everybody wants to be feel that they are special, right? But, of course, this question can go on and on and on because you know I, <laughs> but we actually, if you have a question, you know how to do it. You uh, actually uh, send it to, uh, we'll give you the contact information. But you know it's easy. It's ReneeSunday.com, ReneeSunday.com. If you have any questions or any questions about uh, submitting a question or any of the old things, you have it, right, but we gotta get on in it because this we have a power with us. Uh, you know, the thing that I, I just love is when you have young people that's doing what they're called. You see what I'm saying? We actually have a powerful young lady with paraprofessional, she's an author, she's a childhood epileptic advocate. I know that's powerful, right? It oh lord, I'm just so excited. She actually, um. She's the author of a children's book. It's titled Milo's Day at School. I like that. Yes. And it's an e-book she also has is My Child Help Epilepsy. Now what? Huh. Yeah, what now? Yeah, people, yeah, okay, I ain't going to go there. She's going to get us straight. Uh, you know, we'll be able to get that information of how we can get that those materials because it needs to be in our church. It needs to be in our schools. It needs to be in our women's uh, different ministries and fellowships that we do. But she became passionate about speaking about uh, awareness of epilepsy when her son was diagnosed uh, in 2014, okay? Her mission is to educate, okay, the community and get rid of that stigma, okay, that stigma and myths about epilepsy. You see what I'm getting at? Oh, glory. I can isn't paper. I know you guys driving, but you know the replay will be ready. She's going to give us awesome, awesome information that we actually can help not just ourselves, but everybody else that we can move forward in this life we call journey. This journey we call life. I, I, I was making up. I'm changing that. Hallelujah. But anyway, we'll go. Welcome, Miss Juanita Walter, the good deeds. Are you there, baby? Yes, I'm here. Oh, Hello. thank you so much for being here at Good Deeds. Thank you for having me. Oh, she's so sweet. has a wonderful voice. But tell us a little bit more about yourself because, you know, tip the iceberg of what uh, you've been experiencing in, in, in your life and the things that you're doing to change the world, especially when it talks about childhood epilepsy. Okay, yes. Um, my name is Shawnee Walker. 
I'm an author of a children's book called My Little Day at School that talks about epilepsy awareness. I also have an e-book called My Child Has Epilepsy Now and What, and it gives tips on how to take care of your child who was, like, newly diagnosed with epilepsy. Um, I'm also a paraprofessional at an elementary school. Um, I started my epilepsy um, advocacy about five years ago when my son was first diagnosed. Um, I had to do a lot of research, so I saw a need to help the community and to educate the community about epilepsy. Let's step back a little bit because one thing we like to do here at Good Deeds and in many other media outlets is we we have to get the, the the educate people. Then you know that brings awareness, and then we actually can 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 support. We can actually do donations. We can actually go forward. Tell us a, we can have a working definition if people are not aware. What is epilepsy? Okay, um, epilepsy is a neurological condition that affects the brain and causes a person to have repeated seizures. Um, In most cases, the cause is unknown, but in some cases, it comes from different illness or if you had a traumatic brain injury, like a car accident or something like that. Um, About 1 in 26 people in America would develop epilepsy at some point, and a little over um, 400,000 children in America have epilepsy right now. Hmm. I have to ask you a question with this, uh, and, and you know I'm not saying this just to, uh, for any you know, ladies and gentlemen, you know my heart. But in regards <laughs> of uh, at one time they did say it was a, a description. I shouldn't say a description, but it was a uh, 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 demographics. And at one time they did also say if, if, if you know your economic, and then also. Uh, tell us in your research, have the, those kind of things have kind of went out the window, right? In regards to it's more in one race versus the other, and, and it's more in even on your social economic uh, uh, environment. Um, in my research, I haven't found anything that was like related to like one race more than another. Um, it actually can happen to anyone, any race, any age, and at like any point in their life. That's right. She she and she nailed that. Yes, that you know, all my anesthesiologists. At one time, they did have a, a up. Uh, the numbers did spike up at one time for epilepsy. Not in when I said childhood. That's when the child. Uh, I think that the the literature that I remember from medical school, which was a long time. Ago, okay, anyway, eighteen years, right? Um, it mm-hmm. did say at one time kids that have lead pipes. But you know we don't have lead pipes anymore, right? Uh, no right. home should have any lead pipes. Should I'm saying should should have no lead pipes. So at one time they did think uh, not babies, but when you know when kids start putting stuff in their mouth and that kind of mm-hmm. stuff, um, they, it did spike. But it's it's probably that's why I wanted to ask you. It's probably not in the literature now because knock on wood. Sort of like, I, I'm going to way back now. You know, it's sort of like, unfortunate, like TV and smallpox. Uh, but TV's making a rise back, though. But uh, smallpox, you know, that's eradicated by the vaccine. But same thing with in regards of this lead. It should be out of not in any home or uh, 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 any uh, uh, establishment or park. Thing like that, so I right. probably don't even have that in the literature. And I'm so glad you, I'm like you reviewing stuff with me. <laughs> but Ms. Walker, let me tell us a little bit, uh, if you don't mind. Um, today in society, and I'm so glad you're in the education system as well. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it's always talk about that the millennials doing this, and and you know, my age. You know, when you get close to 50 and people that's over 50. What is so many, and I'm going to bring in, the reason I'm going to bring in, in the classrooms now, so many mm-hmm. kids per class. Mm-hmm. How, uh, you know, when, when you have epilepsy and when you have any of the autism and, you know, in that kind of, uh, um, you know, uh, circle, how right. is that really helping our kids with having so many kids in, in a classroom? Oh, I, you know, um, but, you know, what can we do about that? 
Right. For my son's situation, he's he's actually in a classroom that has two teachers. So it kind of depends on the severity of the child who has epilepsy. Some kids have epilepsy and only have a seizure like once in every blue moon, and then some have epilepsy and have seizures like daily. So it all depends on what they need. And usually the parents and the doctor will come up with a seizure plan, and they will give that to the school, and that will help, like, the school to determine, like, um, the right setting for the child. Mm, that's wonderful. I love that. Now, so when you actually went through this experience yourself, of course, no one can tell the story like you, but uh, what did the community, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, like when we talk about domestic violence for you, and then when we talk about epilepsy, uh, it's so mm-hmm. much community that people don't know uh, how able to to help the like you said help the community in regards of one bringing that awareness. But what can we do as a community to kind of help bring that awareness and also you know to to assess what we need to. Okay, um, as a community, we can be more understanding. Um, We can talk to people that live with the condition and ask them more about it. Um, We can also learn the first aid of helping someone who's having a seizure because a lot of people don't know what to do if they see someone having a seizure. And you can actually save someone's life if you know the first aid of what to do if someone is having a seizure, like in a public place. You turn them on their side and um, keep their head lifted up, time the seizure, and call the ambulance. we can also learn about the different types of seizures because all seizures aren't just shaking and drooling. Some are just staring off for a few seconds. Um, some are just like falling out and just getting stiff. Some people still respond when they have a seizure. So it's just good for the community to understand like different types of seizures and also what to do if they see someone having one because anybody can have a seizure at any time. So it's good for a lot of people to be prepared for that. Yeah, they actually probably need to add that into even, you know, when we do all our CPR and stuff like that because that's very right. important. I, yeah, I guess, no, we, let's talk yeah. about this amazing book that you I, – I, my little school, I just, I just like the title. I, of course, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you know what I'm about to say. Okay, so yeah, she's going to give us the link to go by. But tell us just a little bit of what inspires and then a little bit about about this amazing. I, I just love it. It's just she's special, ladies. Mm-hmm. When you see the cover, you're gonna be like, and when you see it, you just gonna be like, wow. <laughs> okay, um, my little day at school. It's about a little boy who has epilepsy and has a seizure at school one day. It's actually based on my son and when um he was younger and would have seizures at school. So I created this book to help kids understand what to do if they see one of their friends have a seizure and how to go get an adult for help and also how to have empathy for others and to be, you know, understanding of kids with different, like, disabilities. Um, It's written in a kid-friendly language, so kids can, you know, usually understand it. I'm sure they'll have questions, but an adult can, you know, answer some of those questions for them. Um, And it's geared towards children ages about four to eight. And it's also available on Amazon. That book and my ebook, My Child Has Epilepsy Non What, is available on Amazon as well. Now, now I like the title of that ebook. The ebook is called I mean, My Child Has. Uh huh. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, the ebook is called My Child Has Epilepsy Non What. I wrote it because when my son was first diagnosed with epilepsy, I was really, like, lost and confused on what to do and, you know, um, how to, like, kind of care for him since he has, like, you know, seizures very often. So um, I did a lot of research to, like, educate myself and to educate others. So just recently I wrote a little um, e-book. It's like a kind of a help guide that has different tips in it to help parents who have a child who has epilepsy and give them different tips on what to do, on what to do, like how to create a seizure law or what questions to ask the doctor, you know, different things like that. Mm, yeah, that is really important. I actually, you made me think of, what was that yesterday? I was, oh, I was at work. <laughs> and a, young, mm-hmm. a little baby was getting out the parking lot, at, uh, driving out the parking lot, Young, uh, little small boy. He was. I was 
probably was seven, I think. And he was going, mm-hmm. obviously, to a doctor's appointment. And, oh, it just hurt my heart because he, he, he knows that this place is a, is a hospital or some kind of setting. And, uh, oh, my God, it hurt my heart just to see that, you know, he'll, of course, go and, you know, mom, he has to go, you know, to get treated. But uh, it, it just hurt my heart so that kids could do a lot of things. And you as the mother, and this may be personal, and I tend not to uh, ask personal questions, but it's on my heart mm-hmm. that I think is for someone to actually hear uh, what you're mm-hmm. going to say if it's okay to ask. Because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, epilepsy, even if we say even autism and cerebral palsy, if we keep going and you say Down syndrome, et cetera, mm-hmm. how can we as parents and parents and uh, grandparents, just a, in general, especially the ones that's in the inner circle, what can you mm-hmm. say to them and, and right now, if, you know, if they're listening and they're feeling well, like you said, not understanding, and number two, feeling just overwhelmed because they're the adult and they, you know, don't know where to go, don't know how to help uh, and assist mm-hmm. in, in, in when the child is going through a certain thing. Um, my advice to them is just to, like, always have faith and also to always advocate for your child because that does help your kids as much as they can, but no one's going to advocate for your child like you do. So it's always good to um, advocate for them, research for them, always put their health first, um, just have faith in God, and um, just, like, stay focused. And also take care of yourself because you can't take care of your child um, like you're supposed to if you're not taking care of yourself. So if you need therapy to help you get through, you know, this tough time, then reach out and just, you know, stay focused and have faith in God. Well, yes, ma'am, you sure got to do that, amen. And, and I just love your your passion. You very you, you very research, and we thank you, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, because that's one thing um, people want you to just be uh, to be real and let them know what they can do to to help. And if they actually mm-hmm. go through a similar, they'll be able to 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 glean from what you're saying and be able to help somebody else. But but Miss Walker, can help us with this though. If if you know, for time time go by so quickly here. Um, tell mm-hmm. us any any other information that we may have kind of not scratched over just gently, and and and, the, and then also please tell us how we can support you in the things that you're doing how we can mm-hmm. actually uh, get those amazing publications. And, you, of course, you're going to have more to come. And then also how to support you on social media as well. Okay. Okay. Um, if you would like to know more information about epilepsy, you can go to the epilepsyfoundation.com. Um, they have a lot of information on epilepsy. And if you have epilepsy, epilepsy yourself, that um, website will help out. Um, you can find my children's book, My Lizette School, on Amazon and on um, BarnesandNoble.com. You can also find my ebook on Amazon, and you can download it to your Kindle, um, Fire tablet, or um, Kindle app. And also, you can follow me on Instagram, Arthur Shawnee, and on Facebook, Arthur Shawnee Walker. Mm-hmm. I just love it. I just love it. I, I it just. And, and then, first of all, let me say this, because I didn't say this earlier, mm-hmm. and I wish I would have, but I, it came back to my remembrance. <laughs> we, we thank you for being in your purpose. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, she is amazing. She's an educator, and she's an amazing advocate, and she'll pull this off, and she's a young lady, too. But we just thank mm-hmm. you so much for taking that charge, taking that mantle, uh, because a lot of people, when they when things happen, they, you know, they just fold their hands, if you will. Uh, so we just thank you that you bear research, you bear done your due diligence and the things that you do, and, and you love helping, you know, get that foundation. So we thank you for that because I know my teachers really kept it on me, so I'm glad that I the way I am now. <laughs> thank you. Wow. Wow. My team is telling me, Ms. Walker, one more time, can you give us your, uh, what, your uh, how to get your publication? Somebody just asked that question. Okay. Um, my Lose at School, my children's book, is available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. 
My ebook, My Child Has Epilepsy Now What, is available on Amazon.com. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we just thank you so much. If you need us here at Good Deeds for anything, uh, please, please don't hesitate to contact us. But we just thank you so much and the things that you do and continue, and we, we love you. And, of course, God loves you best, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Woo, ladies and gentlemen, that's a powerful young lady. Oh, I just I just feel that. Ooh, she got a lot of more to tap into. She got a lot of publication, a lot of she has a great journey. And we just thank her for being a vessel. You know, education, woo, yeah. There's a lot going on with the the teachers have to go through. Uh, you know, but make sure my mom always said is make sure the foundation starts at the house. Amen. Yeah, amen need to go after that, right? <laughs> But we will have the replay up very shortly. You know it'll be on iTunes for download. You can go to uh, our website. We can go actually also to the different social media and also on YouTube. Okay? We just love you, love you, love you, and we thank you for supporting us. You know if you want to have a radio show, we actually helping people with that. If you want to do just a segment, you can do that. Also, you can have uh, do advertising and promotion with us. And also the thing about it is, it's just in my spirit to say this, so I need to stop and just say it. Always remember, even, you know, with the hotline that, uh, that we talked about, you know, it's also a suicide hotline, right? It's also a domestic violence. If you're here local in the Atlanta area, if you're familiar with the Q, meaning the Q&T uh, gas station, uh, they are relief centers. And what that means, if you in trouble, Somebody's after you. You can run into the gas station, and the gas attendant will call the authorities for you. Okay, and then also, you know, just be mindful of your surroundings when you do things. Okay, that just was in my spirit for somebody, maybe for myself. I need time. <laughs> well, I always do, but uh, you know, you always, you never know. So be mindful. Your surroundings and the things that you're doing. Uh, if you want to get uh, your book published, also. Nonprofit organization. If you're local here in the Atlanta area, we do a Breakout Mighty Women's Fellowship uh, once a month. And uh, the school was in Atlanta. We have a lot of events planned coming up. We just have a lot of things that's going on. You no, know, the key is we are servants. That's the key. There you go. Red servant. Uh, all that information is at our website, www.renesunday.com. That's R-E-N-E-E, Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-Y. Please, please always remember, you do have a calling. Have a reason you were born. You're not a mistake. You're going to yell it, right? <laughs> you got to do this. You got to believe. You got to trust. And you got to walk that thing out. Nobody walking out but you, right? But you got to don't stop. You got to get it, get it, right? You got to don't stop. You got to get it, get it. You got to get your purpose and get purpose now. You know, this is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. See you next time. Bye-bye. Pros in the know start with Lowe's, because Lowe's has exclusive offers this week just for pro customers. For two days only, ask for 5% off all purchases made in-store, and when you use your Lowe's business credit account, save an additional 5%. That's 5% off all purchases and an extra 5% if you use your Lowe's business credit account. See the Pro Desk in-store for more details. So, Pro, now that you know, start with Lowe's. Offer valid 8132, subject to credit approval and can't be combined with other credit offers. Exclusions apply. See store for details. Excludes Lowe's Visa Rewards cardholders, U.S. only. Pros in the know start with Lowe's because Lowe's has exclusive offers this week just for pro customers. For two days only, ask for 5% off all purchases made in store. And when you use your Lowe's business credit account, save an additional 5%. That's 5% off all purchases and an extra 5% if you use your Lowe's business credit account. See the Pro Desk in store for more details. So, pro, now that you know, start with Lowe's. Offer valid 8132, subject to credit approval and can't be combined with other credit offers. Exclusions apply. See store for details. Excludes Lowe's Visa Rewards cardholders, U.S. only.